I'm so glad for a full second I thought he was gonna go over and then that would have been bad you guys That would have been a totally different situation That's kind of like in a weird way smart of him to just like slide down like that because then everything was like Okay in the end, but it wouldn't have been smart if he went over so I don't even know you guys don't rec I don't recommend this but I'm glad that this is the way that that went if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no! Okay, first of all, using the ATM when you're drunk, never a good idea. Usually, you go out with the money that you need, and if you need more money, you're overspending. That's just a little financial tip, though. You know, just for, like, your savings account. Oh, <laughs> mate. So that, I live. Let me say that! <laughs> no! Oh my god. That guy's gonna wake up in the morning and be like, why is there dirt in my ears? And that's why. Also, I feel like these people are the kind of people who would be really fun to go out with because when your friend is just filming you and laughing at you, that's a, that's a good sign. That's a good sign that good times are to be had. Love that. Also, where were all the plants in that planter? Just dirt? Imagine, like, I feel like in his head, he feels like he's doing some crazy Mission Impossible type stuff, like full parkour. You know, I feel like that's what's going on in his brain. And then those police officers are literally walking because that's how <laughs> slow he is evading the police. Also, just don't. Even if you're drunk, don't do that because now I say that I wake up with hangover anxiety, that guy's gonna wake up with a felony charge for running from the police. That's worse. I'll take my anxiety over potentially going to jail. I don't know, that's my preference, but you're welcome to choose whatever you want, to be honest. <laughs> You guys, into their home? A firework went into their home? And the caption is just, the neighbors are gonna hate us. Um, yeah, imagine, imagine you're just like enjoying an open window one night, you know, maybe you have a candle lit, and then there's fireworks going off in your bedroom? Oh, you guys, don't do this to your neighbors. Man, I've had some bad, crazy neighbors, but at least they never lit fireworks off in my home. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> That's <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh man. See, that was a more harmless one on this list, but that would just suck. That's something that I would never get over. If that was me, I would be thinking about that night for the rest of my life. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, at least that was very funny. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, I kind of feel bad that I, okay, wait. Was he like doing that just as a silly joke or did he really just like think in his like drunk mind? Because if he's doing that as a silly joke, this man should be a comedian. Okay, in relation to my last video, here's the update. I really don't know what to do right now. Like I don't know how to stop it without it spraying. Okay, y'all are gonna think I'm so dumb. I did end up taking out, but it was doing that for like 20 minutes. You guys.
for 20 minutes, take it out. What are you doing? Take it out. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? What a mess. There's gasoline everywhere. It smells. I hope there's no fire. Oh my gosh. And it was doing that for 20 minutes and you didn't do anything other than make a TikTok? Come on. Oh yeah, your camera's on. Yo, what the? Yo. No. Okay, that wasn't dumb. That was just so. Oh man, so embarrassing. That's my worst nightmare, you guys. Oh, you always gotta quadruple check that the camera and sound are off, you know, before you start rubbing noses. At least it was like cute though, and it wasn't anything weird, because that would have been weird. Well, why did you let him keep chewing on it? Uh, that's a big no-no. I mean, I can understand he's so cute. It's probably very hard to say no, but you got to for the laptop. Oh my gosh, that could have been avoided, you guys. I hope the doggy didn't get in trouble because it wasn't really his fault. He just saw a yummy snack. <laughs> that wasn't dumb, that was so embarrassing. Oh man, no matter how old I get, farts will never not be funny, you guys. I don't know, maybe that says a lot about where my maturity level is at, or maybe it just means that I'm having a good time and having fun and I like to laugh, because that was hilarious. And also, I bet she never lived that down for the entire relationship. Well, what did you think was gonna happen? Okay, maybe this person isn't dumb, but that was a very dumb idea. If it's not gonna go in, don't force it to go in, you guys. What the heck? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, he thought he had his headphones plugged in, but he didn't. I don't know why, because it's like such a harmless thing, obviously. Like, they all had a really nice time after that. So I don't know why, like, when I'm in public, I'm so scared of that happening to me. Like, so scared, you guys. Like, what, somebody's gonna hear me playing Peaches by Justin Bieber out loud and suddenly my life is over? That's not the case, you guys. See, maybe it would make somebody <laughs> giggle like that, and that is always a positive thing, so. Maybe I need to purposefully stop plugging in my headphones. I'm not gonna do that, but maybe. <laughs> How? Okay, I don't even think she was dumb. I think that that pan was dumb because you should be able to flip your little eggy. I think it was an egg, I don't know. But a gas stove too, that's so hard to clean. Could you sue the pan company? I don't know why you would sue. Like, it's just one egg and the pan that got ruined. Probably don't need to sue, okay? Maybe I was being a little dramatic at first, but like, that'd be so annoying. Now you gotta get a new eggy and a new pan? Mm-mm, that wasn't an egg she's cooking. I look like the dumb person with instant regret. <laughs> the goal, you guys. Why did he do that? Ow, ow, yeah, probably not a dumb person, but. Come on, man. Definitely a dumb decision. I don't even know what, like, was he supposed to make it into that high chair? Cause that was never gonna happen. And if he was supposed to make it over, like, that's not super impressive. I mean, hey, 
if you're having fun, you're having fun and you're trying to do something fun. And I respect that, but it just seems like other fun could have been had before this not fun was had, you know? Заебал уже, но то масло не дольешь, то перебьешь, но... Did they play a prank on him? He really just yeeted himself to go absolutely nowhere. Man, I hope that didn't hurt, because that was very funny, and it's more funny if he's totally okay. I mean, he got right up, and... He seemed fine, so I guess he probably didn't get hurt, so laugh away, my friends. Parkour. <gasps> oh, snap. Ooh. Was he trying to break into the police station? Because there's like a police watermark up in the corner. Don't break into the police station. Has there ever been a police station break in, like into the private secure areas? Ooh, if anyone knows, let me know. That would be crazy. Maybe this isn't even a police station. Someone let me know where this is. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I really hope that just beyond the camera there's a mat or a ball pit or something soft and not just the ground because he was supermanning. Again, guys, what's the goal here? Is that is this a thing people do? I don't even know. Sometimes these videos really confuse me, you guys. Maybe I'm just living a boring little life. Ooh! <laughs> no, that would hurt so bad. Why was he doing that? I mean, he's so blatantly stupid. No, I didn't want that to happen. I had no idea where this video was going, but it, my mind definitely wasn't there. That really surprised me. Oh, I hope his little noggin's okay. He probably has a goose egg. Oh, dang it. Testaments, pass the word. Each mint wrapped in a verse of the scripture. <laughs> okay, so I, look, I understand we're doing like the dumbest products, you know, that shouldn't exist. This is kind of a smart product. I think people might actually buy this. I think people that are very serious about this would actually purchase these mints and they would see it as a way to educate people on the verses of the scriptures. I think that this isn't as dumb as people might think. On the surface, it seems very dumb, yes. It seems like a, wow, that's a dumb idea. But then you think about it and you're like, I used to buy like, you know, those gums with the little cartoons in them. I don't remember what they're called, but they definitely weren't called gum cartoons. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is great really. on my abs. I can really feel oh this abs. working. Hawaii chair while answering phones, using the computer, balancing books, or filing paperwork. You can hardly call this work. With the Hawaii chair, it takes the work out of your work day. If you can sit, you can get fit. The Hawaii chair. I love I loved the little jingle at the end. I think I need one of these. I think maybe all the hosts need one of these. I think right now I might just do the rest of the video kind of just swerving. I feel like the microphone's picking that up big time. This, this is an awful product. Uh, this is probably one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. I get the idea of holding up your phone, but fingers? doesn't do it for me. It's just very weird. It's very uncomfortable to look at. Whose fingers are they modeled after? Is there like an average finger that people just model these after? It's a, it's a weird thing to think about, but like this is a weird idea in the first place, so. Does the shoulder strap of your car cut into your shoulder? All the time. Is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? Always. Introducing the Tinny Bear, the cute little guy that eliminates all those problems. Designed to make driving more comfortable. This is real? The Tinny Bear snaps onto your shoulder strap and moves up and down to remove the pressure wherever you need it. My shoulder strap used to pull so tight I could hardly breathe. <laughs> this now is not the real. Bear, I really enjoy traveling again. The patent pending design swivels to work from either the driver's side or passenger seat and fits all makes and models. My wife used to always complain about the pressure from her shoulder belt. 
Not anymore. And the titty bear worked so great, he got one for himself too. This is not real. I have to actually look this up now. I'm sorry, folks. Give me a second. I gotta look up the titty bear. No, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. I thought it was like a joke. I thought it was like a like a, a sketch comedy, college humor type joke. This is a real product that someone actually made. Okay, so I thought it was called the teddy bear. Cause I'm like, obviously it's a teddy bear, right? It's called the titty bear, D-D-Y, just to clarify the, the titty bear. And it just, well, you saw what it does. <laughs> I wanna know, I wanna know who made that product. And I wanna know what the initial pitch was like. Just walks into a room of suits, like investors, marketing guys. Guys, great idea here, the titty bear. It's a bear that hugs your tits. <laughs> it sounds wrong even saying, but that's literally what it does. I wonder what the actors in that infomercial were thinking. Like, I love the titty bear. Oh my God, that is ridiculous, but I love it. There's something about it I enjoy so much. I'm so happy it exists. It brings me so much pleasure. We're probably like angry that it exists. I love that it exists because that's the world we live in, guys. Anything is possible. If the titty bear is, an, is a real product, people are buying, well, I don't know if they're buying it, but if the titty bear is a real product, anything is possible, folks. Remember that, a little motivation for the day. All right, so I don't know. I was gonna say like kind of reminds me of the Teletubby. It reminds me of the sun from the Teletubbies. You guys remember the sun? How it's just like it's a baby's face? That's what this reminds me of because there's, I mean, it'd be a pink sun, but regardless, a sun nonetheless. I guess it's like replaces a bib, but how often does food get on your forehead? It only takes one. Yeah, I don't know. I think a bib's probably better, you know? Or just wear like an astronaut helmet. Wear like a dome over your head. And then that way, you know, no mess. I guess you can't eat that way, but I mean, that's probably more useful than this stupid product. <laughs> Millions of women like yourself suffer from a poor night's rest. Sleeping on your side without proper breast support can be a major culprit. This, I don't, it's just a Introducing thing, I don't know. Kush, the comfortable nighttime companion anatomically contoured to gently support and cushion the weight of a woman's breasts. Kush maintains a more natural shape oh, while on. resting on your side. I don't believe that. Call 1-888-OWN-KUSH or shop online at that. kushsupport.com. That's, Order now. I shouldn't speak out of pocket here because I genuinely don't know, but guys, I find that so hard. I guess I should speak to the girls here. I find that so hard to believe that that's actually a thing. Maybe it's uncomfortable when you lie on your side. I really don't know because, you know, like, I guess it's like a weight lifting you down. I don't really know, to be honest. From the experience that I have of my my things that are similar and just in a different area, if you get what I'm saying? I do not have that problem ever. I would not want something separating the two if you get what I'm saying. So that just does not seem like a good idea. But let me know if, if you know that's something that maybe women would do. I don't think so though. I, I, I don't I don't I don't think so. Maybe though, I don't know. I like the titty bear. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This has to be a joke. Like I genuinely, but the issue is I thought uh, like I thought majorities were jokes and they were real. So I genuinely don't know what's real and what's not. I feel like for some people, this would be a good idea because they're like very private, you know, like, I mean, then again, if you're that private, why are you online? If you're online, you know, your information's out there. They're always listening. They're listening right now, bro. All right, guys, moving on. You probably don't have enough time to practice. You can have more time to practice your putting with the Putty Putter, the amazing new toy I don't even golf, golf game and I want that it. lets you practice your putting on the putty. Your potty putter comes with its own putting green. When I tell you, I know people that would buy this, including myself. Courses. It's ideal for the executive washroom at the office. Don't limit your life to a tiny <laughs> toilet. Let your imagination soar with a potty putter, the instant solution that lets you practice your putting every day. So I feel safe in saying that I would 100% use this. I don't know if I would buy it, but I would definitely use it. I want to say producer Chris would use it too. I feel like 100% if he, if he had one of those. Again, I'm not saying we would buy it, but we would use it. If it was gifted to us, we would use it. So if you guys want to buy producer Chris or myself a gift, probably that, I'm just saying. Ab enhancer, get a six pack in seconds. You know what? Technically this is a legitimate thing. Technically it will not work the muscle. I mean, maybe it will work the muscle, but I, I don't think it'll work the muscle, but it will give you a six pack in seconds. It'll give you the lines for sure. Probably red lines from irritation on the skin, but lines nonetheless, and it will look like a six pack. Take a quick picture, no one will know the difference. So I think it's a good idea. I back it. I kind of need it. I kind of want it. I'm going to order it right now. Kids love to make a mess. But with mop slippers, cleanup can be fun. Thank you, mop slippers. Brought to you by Open Sky. Go to www.mopslipper.com to get one pair of gorgeous and long lasting mop slippers for $9.99, a five pack for $29.99, or a 10 pack for $39.99, plus shipping and handling. Okay, so first of all, tell me why I thought that was Anne Hathaway, <laughs> the mother. <laughs> 
I thought it was Anne Hathaway. Isn't she like in the Princess Bride or something? No, she wasn't. Was she? Was she in the Princess Bride? No, she wasn't. Relevant. I thought that was I thought that was Anne Hathaway. That's very funny. This idea has to be one of the worst ideas in the world because that's not gonna clean anything. It's just gonna spread the dirt all over your floor even more. There was a reason why. You guys remember the Sham Wow? Hey, it's Vince with Sham Wow. Look, one wipe done. Ring it out, no problems. Like he showed you how it worked. There's a reason why they're not showing you how it works. They showed the mess, then they showed them dancing with the slippers on. They didn't actually show the slippers in action because they don't work. Shouldn't say that. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna say they don't work. Guys, how many times has this happened to you? Come on, you know you can't hold it in so that often, long. All the time. Introducing the Euro Club, I don't even the golf. discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. Created by a board certified urologist, it looks like an ordinary golf club. No way. But it contains a special reservoir no built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with a special towel to keep your privacy, and it appears to everyone that you're just checking out your club. At first, it seems comical, but believe me, when you really have to go, it's a lifesaver. Sanitary, leak-proof, easy to clean, and no more embarrassing moments in the bush. Dramatically improve your golf scores for only $49.95. The crazy thing is, I think people actually would buy that. I think it's way less embarrassing to go in the bush. No one pees next to a bush. No one, like, no one walks up to a bush and pees. They go inside the bush to hide. No one just outright pisses on a bush. That's not the point of going to the bush. You go to the bush to hide. You use the bush as cover. Just a heads up in case anyone pees like that guy in the infomercial who just walked up to the bush and started peeing all over it. You don't do that. You go inside to hide. That's the whole point is the bush camouflages you. So how does this thing work? All right, so first off, put these earbuds in. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna take this player and slip it right in the pouch. Oh, this said ass bill. hat TV. Put on TV hat. And then last, you slide down the custom lens. Oh, wow. Right? This is so cool. This is awful. This is a great product. Man, I don't know. It looks kind of weird. This is awesome. This is terrible. Let me, let me, all right, let me try. No, get the drone. My kids would love this. My husband would love this. TV hat, a movie theater experience absolutely anywhere. A virtual reality adventure for gamers. A glare-free studio for photographers. And of course, video on the go. It's an awful idea, but this is literally what VR is. It's just like goggles that make you see something else. So I really shouldn't be saying how awful it is, but I still think this is an awful idea and VR is way better just because I said so. Deal with it. Look at this master builder right here. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> how does that even happen? I think I have the same shelf. It's like from Ikea right there. I, what I want to know is how do you get it to stand up like that without falling and then have it collapse by itself? How do you keep yourself up when you're performing? It's incredible. Belt. Like glue it, tape it for a few seconds. It hopes that it stays up. How would you, how do you even manage that? That in itself to me is impressive. <laughs> I feel like they're drunk. They have to be drunk, right? I don't think I would slip that easily though. But those Swiffer things, they do put out a lot of liquid. So maybe, I don't know though. I feel like they must've been on something. Or maybe they just have really bad balance. I don't know. Do people have bad balance? I don't know. I feel like my balance has gotten significantly better because I've been consistently working out, which is something you don't think about balance. Service department. We are calling about your vehicle's manufacturer's warranty. We sent you several notices in the mail. They have meant to extend your warranty factory cutoff. And this is a courtesy call to renew your warranty before we close the file. If you're interested in renewing your auto warranty now, sign <laughs> now. I don't know how I would feel about that. Is it a mistake? Or is that for the elevator operator to know the warranty on the elevator is going to expire and that if anything happens, they're now liable? Kind of scary. I don't know. I think I would still take the elevator. I'm a bit of a risk taker. Not really, but a little bit. Like, I'm a tiny risk taker. I take small risks. I'll put like $5 on red or black at the roulette table. Let's take like a bit of a risk. It's only $5 risk, but it's still a bit of a risk. So that's something. So I think they just said, like, let's just try it. We're gonna clear it. I don't know, let's, let's just try it. Why not get out of the car and just take it off, that thing? Keep going, you're good, you're good, you're good, and stop. I feel like it's a drive through for some reason. I think it's like a drive through like a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts, because America runs on Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, no. Yeah. No.
So you guys remember what I said about snow and, and the ice and the slush and the black ice and the hail and the locust and all the other awful things that are on the Ten Commandments? That's what I deal with on a regular basis in Canada. And this is exactly why it's important to have good balance. There have been plenty of times that I've slipped, but I haven't fallen because I've slipped and I've been able to keep my balance, right? It's good to have good balance. Work on your balance, folks. We're up the patio and I saw this and it says original. Wonder what that is. And I lift this up. Turns out this house is made of cereal boxes. Cereal boxes. What the hell? I genuinely do. Is that like, <laughs> so hold on. They used cereal for insulation. Is that what's happening here? They put it on the outside. <laughs> I just don't understand what is going on here. I genuinely don't get it. Assuming that they used, I guess, wood to frame it out and then they used <laughs> cereal for insulation, cereal boxes. I mean, definitely a good, Alter no, it's not. It's not a good alternative. Cardboard is not going to absorb anything. It's bad insulation. You're not going to keep any warmth in. I also feel like when it rains, it would just get damp and just gross and not stay as how it should. That's not going to make it. Yeah. They're looking on the sides, but it's the root. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you did that. Oh, the what are they trying now? Is there a curve there? What are you even doing? And now, now you decide to get out of the truck. Oh boy. Okay. There goes the water. All right. It's a sewage. That's gotta be stew. Oh no, it was dirt. Okay. I thought it looked like it was poopy poo. Oh my God. I've, I've never been in a car accident, but I've been, it was a parking garage and it's like there was a pillar and then the wall. And when I was back in my mom's car and when I was like 18, I think, I hit the pillar on the right side. So when I tried to turn out, I hit the wall on the left side. It was almost like Austin Powers when he's like stuck in the wall back and forth and I was bad. So the initial pipe was the issue here and they were just like, well, we've already hit something. So we might as well just commit to it. And then it looked like it was dirt, but I thought it was a sewage drain because it was all dirty, but it was a clean drain. And it was the dust on the roof of the U-Haul that was gross. Are you sure about that? Balance. Remember I said about balance. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she had it too. She made it across and then it was just that final leap. I don't know if sideways, I feel like going forward is probably the better. Maybe sideways. I don't know. I never really thought about it. I never really had to walk a tight wire. But I feel like when they do it, they walk straight. They don't walk sideways. I feel like sideways, it's harder to balance, right? Because it's like forward, back, not side to side. If you're falling to the right, you just balance out to the left. So if you guys ever have to walk across a tight wire or a log or something like that, go forward and back, not sideways. I don't know why, but that's because I say so. <laughs> oh, she's going right into the TV. <laughs> right into stop, the TV. stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Step back. Step to your right. Wow. Step to the right. At least it was the wall. Yeah. I've seen ones that go right into the TV. And aside from obviously the cost of a TV and being expensive, you get electrocuted, I think. You get glass in your face. I mean, I don't even know what a TV is made of. Is it glass? I guess it's some sort of glass or like maybe a plastic. I've never thought about that. I gotta look up how TVs are made now. Thanks guys. I'm so scared. Reminds me of Survivor. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That ended badly. It worked, but then it ended badly. I just, whenever I try to light my barbecue, the actual, I don't know what you call it, but there's like a button that you press that actually gets the flames to go. I have a propane barbecue and that stopped working. So now I just light matches and I just throw it at the barbecue. <laughs> but the second it hits, it goes like, and sometimes it doesn't happen right away. So I'll throw one and I'll be like, why isn't it? And I'll just give it a blow. I'll be like, to try to get the flame to go. I'm gonna go, sometimes I go, and I go, whoa, and I jump back every time. Maybe I'll film it next time, it's funny. I mean, if I'm gonna lose my eyebrows, I might as well do it on camera. That's a very nice, is that Tom Brady? Yeah.
this is like that moment when when you I don't know if it's embarrassment. I don't know what the well, I don't know what the word is, but like his smile, his like trying to play it cool. You could tell inside like that his heart started to beat faster. He was sweating a little bit under the arms, started to get a little sweaty. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you do something, you're like, this is not, this did not. It's the same way Elon Musk felt when he threw the bat, the, the baseball at the window and it just cracked in front of everybody. He was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of cash. No way. There is no way that's real. I mean, maybe it is, but like the fact that she was so slow to get out of the car, she was like, mother just took my mother. Like she was ready to slowly, I would have been out that car, but the second I saw the hands reach in for it, I would have grabbed his wrist. You know what I mean? That, that cash is not leaving my hands. I also wouldn't count cash like that in the car for everybody to see, so. There's, stop this. This has to be some sort of joke, no? How do you even, it has, this has to be set up. How do you even, I, I thought people just tied them to be honest with you, but how do you even get caught like that? Maybe it's first day on the job or something.